So guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss the topic of gender identification, how we assign gender identity, and most importantly, that society, biology, or both of these two play a vital role in gender formation. Gender identity is the manner at which one sees his or herself as being male or female, regardless of his or her secondary sexual characteristics. According to Simone de Beauvoir, a French philosopher, she claimed one is not born a woman but becomes a woman. She simply referred to gender as a social cultural construction of masculinity or femininity and not a state of being male or female in its entirety. In the lecture presented by Counterpoint, the, the question of gender was explained as conceptual and involves decision making than just using empirical approach to define it. According to Counterpoint, gender identity is more complex than just being attached to something fixed or secondary sexual characteristics. On the flip side, gender can be said to begin from the womb as a result of different chromosomes. When a fetus has XY or XS chromosome, its or gender is automatically perceived by medical staff. However, there are some cases when one sees his or genitalia not corresponding to the gender identity he or she feels like. When this occurs, sometimes it leads to dissatisfaction with one's body, and this is called gender dysphoria. According to an article published by the American Psychology Association, Dr. William G. Winder, a child psychiatrist and, and a neurologist, explained in the study found that infants who have been exposed to male hormones in the womb later identify themselves as male and even though they were raised as females. A group of 14 children were born with a rare genetic disorder called cloacal estrophy, which is being born with a small penis or no penis. Despite having normal male hormones, testes, XY pairs of chromosomes. In the study, the test subjects of 14 children underwent early sex reassignment surgery and were also raised as girls as their parents were instructed not to inform them about their earlier medical history. Of the 14 children raised as females, three simultaneously declared themselves as males and initially assessment. Six later identified themselves as males, while three reported unclear on gender identity or refused to talk to researchers. Two participants were raised as males and remained males throughout the study. Dr. Rayner then concluded that based on the study, the genetics and hormones make up sexual identity and sexual identity may be primarily influenced by biology. It is necessary to also consider the confounding factors that may have caused this result. This is because other researchers critique that other studies done on similar cases have different results from that what Dr. Rayner had with his team. It is however necessary to notice the social aspect at which these children were raised, considering the fact that social factors can alter the end result. I therefore stand with counterpoint idea of defining gender identity to be something not discrete but can be influenced by multiple factors such as biology and the society as well. Thank you.